All right, we're a little wobbly. We'll see if that levels out. Oh man, we might just have to deal with that. So, um, how's it going? This week, I wanted to focus a little bit more on color. Um, so if you notice, I sent out a few coloring pages. One of them is a rainbow, and then the other one is um, working on warm colors and cool colors. So when we think of warm colors, we think of typically like summer, um, colors that are um, a little bit hotter, they might remind you of like fire. So things like reds and oranges and yellows and even pink kind of works in there. Or if we look on our color wheel here, kind of the bottom half here. And then we also have our cool colors. Um, so they might remind you more of like winter. So greens and blues and purples. Um, so today we're actually gonna be making a bit of a color wheel, but it's gonna be a little bit more fun. We're gonna be turning our color wheel into an umbrella. So you can see my example here. Um, I'm trying to make do with some of the materials that I have at home. Um, I have a lot of markers at home and colored pencils. I don't really have any crayons. And then I'm kind of lucky because I have some oil pastels. You can see them here. And then I also have watercolor paint at my house that I can use. So I'm gonna show you a couple different variations. I'm gonna show you how to draw this. And then, um, like I said, I've got a marker um, variation here. And then this one I used oil pastel. I'm gonna add watercolor paint at the end. So hold on. Um, for that, but I'm gonna start with a just a blank piece of paper if you're using um, Watercolor if you have like a white construction paper or something a little bit thicker That's probably gonna work better with the watercolor paint if not regular printer paper works just fine so we're gonna start with our um, Getting kind of like the outline for our color wheel. So we're gonna start with kind of a cross or a letter T so I'm gonna draw a vertical line that goes up and down, and then I'm gonna draw a horizontal line that goes side to side, all right? Then we've got our, our T or our cross there. And now we're gonna make an X. So we're gonna be drawing a diagonal line this way, and then another diagonal line that way. And notice how I'm drawing kind of in the upper half of the piece of paper here, and then I'll have room down at the bottom for my puddles and things. But I'm gonna draw my X, and. I made a mistake there, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then there's the other half of it there, okay? Now, on the sides, instead of just making this a big circle, um, we're gonna actually make some curved lines. So I'm gonna curve in, and I'm gonna go around the entire thing here. I'm gonna curve in each time. And if you make a mistake and accidentally curve out, that's okay, mistakes happen. We'll just keep going and try to fix it as we go. Otherwise, oh my gosh, I've got another piece of paper. We can always try again, especially if you use pencil, you can try again, you can even erase, but I'm using Sharpie so I can't. But we have our color wheel here. Now we're gonna add our little person. So it looks like there's a person standing under the umbrella and holding it. So I'm drawing a slight diagonal line there at the bottom and then another one there and a straight line across to connect those, okay? Now we're gonna make the boots, because if we're gonna go out and play in the puddles, we've got to have our rain boots on. So I'm gonna draw two lines down like this. I'm gonna draw kind of like a letter C, bring that across, and then connect, okay? And then our other boot is kind of behind that one. So I'm gonna start here with my letter C and it's gonna connect to my top one and then I'll line up so it looks like our boots are staggered. All right, so that's pretty much the basics for our drawing here, and now we're ready to start coloring. So like I said, I used um, my uh, markers for this one, and I'm gonna be showing you how I used my oil pastel for this one, but that's entirely up to you. But the whole idea here is we have eight different sections, and we want to put them in rainbow order or color order. All right, so if we think about the rainbow, the first color we typically think of is red, or maybe I'm gonna put my red here or here or here, it doesn't matter. But we've got red, orange, yellow, green, and then we've kind of got some wiggle room here. In this one, I did a teal, which is kind of like a blue-green. 
um, or a turquoise, you could call it instead. Or with this one, I did kind of like a more light blue and then I did an indigo and then purple and pink. And with my markers, I found kind of like a purpley pink there, which was kind of cool. So that's how we're gonna color that in, following rainbow order or following our color wheel. Um, and if you don't have oil pastels at home, uh, crayons work pretty well too. You could use those instead if you're gonna be doing our wax resist here. So like I said, I colored this all in with oil pastel, um, including the jacket and the boots. And then you might be able to see, but I actually drew some things in the background, but I used a white oil pastel. Now let's watch what happens. I'm gonna get my um, blue watercolor paint here ready. So I'm adding lots of water to it because it is watercolor after all. I'm adding lots of water to that and then I'm gonna paint over everything here, including my background and watch what happens. Watch what I drew. Can you see the puddles start to show up? It looks like I need more paint. I might even need to get some darker blue and I can go over my boots and luckily, or hopefully, I colored things in really, really well. Ooh, you can see my rain up there too. If I colored it in really well, then notice how the oil pastel kind of wicks away that water. They do not get along, do they? No way. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna color in the whole background with my blue watercolor paint. Or I guess if you wanna be silly, I could use, or you could use different colors, but I'm gonna stick with my blue so it looks like rain here. All right, so if you end up doing this at home, um, I would love to see it. I'd love for you to share it with me. Um, I'd love to see what kind of materials you guys are working with at home. Um, I hope you are happy and busy creating things. And um, yeah, have a great week.